Hi everyone, it's Paola. So I just tried to film a million times. I had to wait around because a giant truck making a lot of noise, picking up leaves everywhere, was just like driving on by down the street, taking forever. And so I had to wait around. So then I started making this Polaroid wall thing. So now I just have a mess here, but you know what? We're gonna keep it moving. So hello everyone, it's Paola. And today I am going to be talking about applying to school, applying to college, applying to art school, all of that because I've got some requests to talk about that and I was like you know what that's a really good idea like I should be doing that it's the middle of like the time to be applying to school and it was so long ago for me I'm like so freaking old I don't even remember what it was like no I do but I thought it would be helpful because I've been like seeing a lot of videos about applying to school and like the ones that I've seen for artists are like here's how I got accepted to my top school and it's like like all these high-end like fancy like RISD and all these cool schools that I didn't even apply to because I was like I'm not gonna get in. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with those videos but it just seems like it's not really trying to be helpful it's just trying to show like how amazing they are. Um, I'm sorry that's not like if that's not what they're trying to do I'm sorry but it's just like the titles they're just not very helpful. I like want to give you like actual practical tips instead of just like um, here's my art and I'm amazing because I don't know like you might be in this position and I don't think I would benefit from watching a video like that when I was in high school because I was really not confident in my work and I didn't even feel like an artist I was kind of like why am I even applying to like school to be an artist like what am I doing and I, it was always like the primary goal was the career I wanted which was to work at a magazine um which now has changed but I wasn't confident and I was like okay I'm only doing graphic design because that's like what I want to do kind of I don't know I'm lost like and it was just scary so like I don't think I would have benefited from watching a video that was like here's how amazing I am at art and why I got accepted to my top choice art school so if that's you this will be helpful hopefully <laughs> so let's do it the one thing I want to start out by saying which I guess I've already said a bunch of stuff but this is the start right um, that I want to start out by saying is that I feel like the whole application process is really unfair um, especially for art schools or going to college like a liberal art school for art uh, you have to submit all this work that is like your current work and what you've been doing and for me I really didn't know exactly how to do a lot of art like I just didn't feel prepared and maybe that was just all in my head but I felt like I was more prepared after college now like I feel qualified now to go apply to an art school and get in you know what I mean like that's how much my my art has grown but of course like you can do it I believe in you and they're not looking for perfection they're just looking for potential and they're looking for a wide variety of work and you don't have to be an expert at everything it was just all in my head that I felt like it was a slightly unfair process because I felt like I was just behind from other people. But if that's you too, don't let that knock your confidence. Just do whatever you do. And if you're doing art, if you want to study art, you've obviously like done some work and that's okay. Like you can show what you have and feel good about it. The first thing I would really encourage you to do, I keep saying this is the first, but this is like the third thing I've talked about. The first thing I would really encourage you to do is your research. So you definitely want to look into like if you want to go to a liberal arts school or an art school or any kind of college. Um, I've gotten a lot of comments about that in different videos, like what kind of school did you go to? Like is it better to go to an art school? Is it better to go to this kind of school? Like I've gotten so many comments about it and I've answered them like individually, but obviously like y'all aren't seeing it. So uh, I would definitely say that it's up to you and what kind of experience you want. I went to a liberal arts four-year university so there were lots of different colleges at the school there was like a law school education social work medical school you could study anything basically and I was just in the art department so that was a really good experience I had a great experience at my college and I met a lot of different people not just artists um, I became best friends with the artists but of course because I'm in classes with them all the time but uh, <laughs> But yeah, it's definitely up to you. Like art school, I probably would have had just as great of a time if I went to an art school. Like all art, that's the only majors or different uh, fields of art. Uh, so really do your research into what you want to do. There's so many good art schools, especially in the United States. 
and even abroad I've already I've looked into going to like grad school abroad and everything I don't know if I will let's not get ahead of ourselves but yeah it's just there's so many options and it, you just have to really find what's best for you and what kind of program you like definitely like visiting campuses is great I was gonna apply to a school and then I went and visited the campus and I was like this isn't my vibe, you know? Like, it just didn't feel like me, and so I didn't end up applying. So it really depends on what you wanna do. Do it all. Google, Google's your best friend right now. Start going on all those college websites, get that info, request info, they'll send you like packages. It's the best. So now you're in the application process and that can be very tedious and you know, it costs money and there's lots of different factors and it takes a while, but it's very rewarding because at the end you'll get to go to college and everyone goes through it so you're not alone. Um, but you know, it can be fun if you want to talk about yourself, if you're like that kind of person that really likes to talk about yourself and you made a whole channel where you just get to talk all the time. Mm -hmm. So if you are applying your main thing that they are going to look at when they take you into consideration for acceptance is your portfolio. Dun dun dun! It's your portfolio. It's the main part of everything that you need to get into school. Uh, <laughs> but I will say if you're going to an art school, your portfolio is probably the most important thing on your application. They're going to look at that. They're going to take that into consideration the most. And if you're going to a liberal arts school, they probably will focus on your essays and your test scores as well just like as high up there in regard as your portfolio because it's like really important to them as a school like that they have all the perfect students like it's so annoying so <laughs> you definitely have to make sure that you don't forget about your essays and your testing and all that stuff because like your portfolio is not the only thing that makes you up like you still have school to do. You still have to go to school and like take a science class and take an English class. So you're not just going to be doing art all the time, even at an art school. But at an art school, they will definitely be looking at your portfolio and your talent first. Here's the thing, I keep rambling and the lighting keeps changing, but we're going to keep going because we are in it to win it. So for your portfolio, I'm not going to show you my portfolio because my portfolio is a professional portfolio now it's not a student one it's not a high school one when I was in high school I had completely different work uh, I have a portfolio on my website I'll link that down below and I also have a video that I'll link that shows my student portfolio when it was student it's definitely changed since then uh, but yeah well you guys can look at that on your own time but the portfolio is very important and you definitely need to show a wide range of your work um, if you just draw and paint then that's okay, you don't have to do like photography just because the portfolio said so, but sometimes the portfolio has specific requirements that it needs and sometimes it doesn't. So just make sure you're doing your research when you're looking into what school you want to apply to, what they expect. I know for RISD, if you're applying to Rhode Island School of Design, they have a specific like list of things that you need, like draw this and whatever. But if you're going for like graphic design like I was, I did lots of different things. I did a little bit of photography, I did a painting that I did of myself, I had like a watercolor diamond thing that I drew and you know what these things weren't that amazing I'll be honest but they still got me into school one and two they were fine for what they were like I was 16 17 when I was applying for school and you know what they understand like they understand you're on a journey they just want to see that you are working hard and that you have potential into what you want to go into. So that's why I feel like the essay and the portfolio really pair well together because you really want to talk about your passions and what you want to go into and what you strive to do and aspire to be. And so I think that will come across when you pair your essay and your portfolio together. But definitely focus on your portfolio, focus on being diverse and creative and just create this whole year long. Um, if you're a junior right now in high school, create for the whole next year like a bunch of different stuff. Just experiment and then you will have a very well-rounded portfolio. And if you are still in the application process and you have a portfolio that you would like to get looked at, get critiqued, there is an amazing thing called National Portfolio Day and it's like all over the country here. 
um, it's really cool and it, people from all over from different schools they come in and they look at your work so what you would do is you bring in basically a portfolio of all your work all the photos uh, and then you talk about yourself and you show your work and then they give you help, really helpful tips they're not there to like slam you or reject you on the spot they're there to tell you what you can improve and what is really strong so that's like a great way to figure out what you're doing in this application process uh, it's going around right now. I'll link it below I'll link all the resources below and I'll link some resources where you can look into like what kind of schools you want to go to and Like what schools are the best right now for certain things? Um, I'll link a lot of resources for you So hopefully this was helpful if it was give it a thumbs up Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I would love to talk to you. We can talk about school We can talk about whatever <laughs> whatever you want if you want to ask me where I got this outfit Ask away. I don't remember. I'll let you know if I look it up. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mmm, there's a big truck. Oh, they're stopping. Lovely. Mmm, they're gonna make noises with leaves. Oh, no. Kill me.